Hello everyone, my name is Mr. Omo Godwin and I am so excited to meet you on this learning platform. It promises to be fun and learning all the way. Are you ready today? Because I'm also ready. We're going to talk about crops. Yeah, crops too. Remember we talk about crops the other time, but we're going to focus on food, crops and cash crops. Yeah, and that's our basic science and technology, but we've centered on the subject science. Now, if you are ready today, I am so, so ready. So should we get to it already, people? Let's get to it. All right, so you have to come out, remember, with your writing materials, your jotters, your pen, and your notepad, because it promises to be interesting all the way. Now, objective for the day, objective for the day, what I expect you to do or know after the lesson, you should be able to define crop for me. You're going to tell me what cash crop is. You mentioned some examples of cash crops. You also tell me some examples of food crops. After the lesson, you should be able to tell me this. Now, let's get to it, people. Already, let's start. Let's start. Let's start. It's already getting started now. What is crop? Crop is a plant or animal product that can be grown and harvested extensively for profit or what? Substance. Yep. So, crops is basically, it could be plant or animal. Yeah. Yeah. Farmers, they have animal farm as well. They also have plant farm. That product that can be grown and harvested extensively that's massively for either profit or sustenance okay so is that you're making profit from your crops or you are doing it for just sustenance or consumption level all right so now um, crops are also living plants grown by farmers yeah you can see one farmer here and these are crops of course vegetables um they are grown by farmers. most crops are food and the ones that we get foods are the grains, are vegetables, are fruits. Uh, they, they, these ones are regarded as food. Can be regarded as a food for the farmer. Another definition for you that I've, I've brought out for you here is that crops are living plants grown by farmers. All right, so you can see a farmer trying to do what to prepare and harvest. That is wow. Boy, can you see that girl? That that looks to me like like rice. The rice, yeah, that's rice, boy. That's it. It is rice, and the man is so busy, doesn't even have time to look at the bird. So that's what farmers do. They get busy with their work. So some crops are for drugs. Some of these crops that are for drugs, we call them quinine. All right, one quinine for drugs, fiber, um, such as cotton, other materials that could be rubber or wood. So we have. Crops that are used for drugs and they are very helpful to human. This is um, your typical cotton. Do you know cotton? You know cotton board, right? This is cotton. This is a plant. It's a plant. You don't know? Good one. I'm glad you've learned that today. So when as you see, this is how cotton look like. Farmers are usually very busy planting varieties of crops. Now, one of them is used for drugs. Some of them are used for drugs. Quinine is one of them. Fiber, cotton, they are used for human, not only for consumption, but they also help us. Farms are usually made to grow just one kind of crop. Yeah, on a farmland, what you actually do there is actually just to plant one kind of crops. You don't mix them up. You just put one at a time. Now, we're going to classify crops into various groups. First up, we have the food crop, we have cash crop, we have horticulture crop, and we have the plantation types of crops. Yep. Um, but remember, our lesson today should have been here. But something you should also know from this point to this point, you should know them. So food crops like um, wheat, rice, maize, millet. Cash crops are sugarcane, tobacco, jute, curtain, and oil seed. Horticulture crop. What do we mean by that? We mean fruit and vegetable. Plantation crops, these are tea, coffee, coconut, and rubber. Can you tell me what this is? Wow, you don't know? That's cocoa. Now, let's get to it, people. Let's get to it. Now, the crops can be classified like we said in the previous slide. Food crops first. These are crops that are usually made for food. They are not to be taken to market directly. No, 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 no. These ones are for, to be consumed. This man here planting rice. We have corn and we have uh, millets. All these are made for what? Consumption. It's not taken to the market. It's not taken anywhere. The ones that are for the house. That's what we call food crops. And our cash crops. We have some of them like sugarcane, cocoa, 
um, oil seed, all these are used and any crop that the farmer plants that enable him to just direct for direct market purpose, those ones will regard to them as what cash crop. They take it to the market direct. Extensively, they're going to sell their crops. That is what we call cash crops. How about horticultural crops? Horticultural crops are your fruits and vegetables. Just like you're seeing here. <laughs> All these are vegetables and we have fruits, okay? They can also be used as cash or food crops. Then we have plantation crops, of course, plantation crops that contains all those trees, your trees, plants, your trees kind of crops. Of course, you know, coconut is now harvested under the earth. I hope you know that coconut has a very big tree, if you know what I mean. Oops, and as I was say, can you draw it that way? Yep. This is a rubber tree, you understand? All right, so our plantation crops refers to are three kinds of crops, tree planting crops. So we, we have explained cash crops earlier, but a cash crop or a profit crop is an agricultural crop which is grown to sell for profit. You grow it just to sell for profit. You don't have any business consuming it. It is typically purchased by parties separate from a farm. So you, you don't sell in the farm. Someone comes to buy. Now, the term is used to differentiate between marketed crops from subsistence crop. Okay, they, they they are the ones that you take to the market. Okay, they, they are not produced for family. No, they are not produced for family. They are produced so that they can be sold. So we have farmers markets. Cash crops are grown for direct sales. Okay, in the market rather than for family consumption. Or to feed flocks okay so you come to the market here you see a lot of people buying stuffs and people are buying things is because farmer would ensure that this is a farmer's market ensure that they take their produce to the market yeah so some other things that we can sell there uh, these are cash crops also that we have cocoa coffee tea sugarcane cotton spices some of them are I know here now, but we have all these as what cash crops. So when you get to market and you see vegetables, you see fruits, you see a lot of stuff, you should appreciate the farmers because they're the one that did that for us and made it possible. Food crops such as rice, wheat, corn, they are grown as cash crops to also meet global food demand. Yeah, so that there will be enough food. One of the purposes why we have farmers so that we can have lots of food, lots of food, lots of food. every day. There's a high population rate. People are getting more, more, more in numbers. So our food should also be able to sustain the people coming around. Beautiful. I told you we we're gonna have fun today, and trust me, you did have fun because I did. I had fun. I want to believe you also had fun today so quickly before we go can you define crop for me okay what a cash crop brilliant that's a good one that's a good one can you mention examples of cash crops for me hmm that is also excellent now um, you've done perfectly well wonderfully well I should say bravo for you now um, I'll give you a quiz a follow up for this exercise for this class that we've had and I promise I know you're going to do well after your activity. Thank you for listening. It has been a wonderful time here talking to you. From me to you, I would like to say bye-bye until we meet next time.